and I just tried it and it is the key. This is a lock box. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, it is full. Ooh. <laughs> Old age survival phone. Well, don't mind if I do. What? How is on the toy? I didn't see all that. Oh my god. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought two storage lockers at the auction because I was curious to find out why did these units come up for auction three times? What was in there that the owner paid to keep them twice before? There's plenty of junk, but digging through it, we found a lot of vintage items, some cash, and even a safe full of coins. On the last episode, we uncovered an Alvarez guitar and some rare 1980s Star Wars figures. What other treasures will we find? Let's find out. Check this out, you guys. What is this, though? Look at that. That's Transformers. It's another Transformer guy. This is another little tiny Transformer. These are super collectible right now. I'll tell you what, that cassette is sealed. Man, this is a transformer head. It's unfortunate they have all this really cool stuff in here with in this disgusting mess. <laughs> Switch big blade comb. Oh man, I just found something pretty cool. <laughs> First of all, this is getting a little bit bigger. I'm starting to move a little bit faster. I'm coming into a lot of bedding. And I'm not going to be selling the bedding. It's all tore up anyways. Mice get into it. Rats get into it. Uh, here's what it's looking like. Getting in. Oh, real quick. That Herman Miller box, it's down uh, there. It's all plasticware, like Tupperware. Old stuff. Gross. Cups. That just all went on there. So unfortunately, no Herman Miller. Not in the box anyways. What I found... What's the other side? You see this big beam up top right here? I thought that was the wall. And I'm like, this is not a 10 by 15. It's a 10 by 10 maybe. But no, if you can see. Let me turn this around. Uh, it's hard to see. But behind that is... There we go. Look at that. There's like a hidden cavern back there. I couldn't even see. This is a 10 by 15. Holy smokes, you guys. This is taking me, I've been here for probably two and a half to three hours. This is all I've done, and I'm not working super slow. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm taking the top off. You know, this was all super high. So even though I haven't gotten that far in, I'm getting the top out. There's a lot to go through still. I'm definitely not getting this done today. But I am going to keep trying to get a full load to go to the dump. The thing I really do not look forward to is putting all this back in. Oh wow, I just shut the video off and then I noticed, look at this box right here, G.I. Joe, but this is right where the mice were like living, the bags on t that were sitting on top of this, I think that's going to be a really collectible piece, so what else, looking around here, what else is staring me right in the face that I haven't noticed yet, there's a Billy Big Mouth, or it was, Big Mouth Billy Bass, I know I saw the Xbox up there, okay we saw that from originally, the board games, the vans, all that was seen before. That looks like a nice table leg right there. Here's some of the stuff that I'm having no problem making a decision on. He really stored pillows that look like that. This is not the mice's problem. You see the pillowcase isn't as dirty as the pillow. That is, that went in like this. That is disgusting. He should have just thrown that away. All right, guys, I just wanted to capture this real quick. I've got these two, this is kind of funny the way he puts this stuff. In those bins there, I've got three more over here. There might be some in here. I don't really know. But what this is, is Lennox. You can tell they're nice pieces. I just hate dealing with dishware. But um, I'm not complaining. If I get if I get the price, I won't complain. 
uh, but this is definitely looks to be a little bit nicer stuff. Good condition for the few pieces I pulled out. Gross, like this. That's rat piss. Um, there's just tons of it. If I just looked it up, I do. I don't know what this piece is right here. The value. Um, this piece one. If this is a salad plate, which it might be a saucer, but a salad plate is uh, eight bucks. Just recently sold a whole set of them like dishes, everything, cups, a big set of them sold for 400. So there is some value here, but um, man, I, I just don't like listing this kind of stuff, but I think for Linux, I'm gonna make an exception. Okay. This never happens to me. I got, I'm going through this, I'm just dumping stuff in here. Even though I found that card with 50 bucks. Oh God, okay, I'll come right back to it. These right here. I told I may have you may have heard me say this before. I've I've said it before. I wouldn't say I told you before. I said it on the videos before. I find good stuff in these kinds of things. I find jewelry, and um, so I went through that one right there. It's mostly office supplies. I'm going through this one right here. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because look at this. What? I only saw the twenty. I didn't see all that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pick this up. I was just about to throw it in there. I'm like, hey, that feels kind of interesting right there. Someone's coming right now. I want all this money. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. 200, 10, 230, 280, 380 bucks. I've seen videos of guys finding envelopes of money. Alright, can you believe it? Right when I'm filming that, my phone runs out of storage. I really gotta do something about that. Ah, but what a find. I don't find money like that. I don't. I've seen other guys do it, and it's so thrilling. So I just went back through that rest of that bin, because I was just dumping stuff out, dumping stuff out, and then I saw that, I'm like, wait, this looks like it has something in there. I found, like, three more envelopes like this, but they were all empty. So, um, wow, wow, wow. Great little find. Um, but then a couple of the, uh, this couple that bought a locker yesterday, I showed the lady in my, lo in my video yesterday, um, that was their first locker they ever bought and they rent here so they were here to get their stuff and they saw me and they want to come over so we we're talking they're having fun going through the stuff stuff that I got they think it's cool and uh, it makes them excited I showed them that I found that money and uh, they f they found a couple things that I was throwing out that they wanted and I said yeah if you want to clean it up some of the stuff I'm throwing away is halfway decent I just I'm on junk overload right now I have too much stuff even for the flea market so uh, they were happy to take it, and I'm happy to lighten my load and also give a new life to these uh, items that probably shouldn't be in a in a uh, landfill. So, anyways, um, we did find one thing because he was looking at this. And he's like, "What is that?" And I'm like, "I don't know." He's like, "Maybe that's a gun cabinet." And I was like, "Ooh, gun cabinet! I like how that sounds." But um, when he's looking a little bit closer, he goes, "No, you know what that is? That's an organ." It's like a piano, but it's, he thinks it's an organ. So there you see the pedals up there. There's a couple legs and a couple of the legs right there. Um, it looks nice. And there's actually a piano store only a few blocks away. I don't like pianos. They are heavy. I'm hoping the organ is not quite as heavy as a piano. They are a real pain in the move. Like, no joke. That's, that's about, as hard, about as hard as it gets. Maybe that and pool tables. Um, but anyways, figured out what that is. No gun cabinet. I would have taken an armoire. I'd sell it, but Oregon, mm, I don't know. Real quick, wanted to capture just how disgusting this locker is. So yeah, the rats got in there. That's why you don't store food. If you store food in your locker, you're a dumb idiot. This is all rat poop and fragments of whatever they're eating. Look at that. That. And I'm standing this far away, which is probably two feet away, and the, the stench of urine, rat urine, is very, very pungent. Pungent? Pungent. It's strong. That's what I'm trying to say, it's strong. 
it's gross. Even with gloves, I don't want to touch it, but I have to. All right. Wow, look at this is the most floor space I've seen since I've got in this locker. Uh, back here, things are getting kind of interesting. I'm going to get these out. These two fans go in the dump. I'll get this thing out. That's got to go to the dump. This thing's got to go to the dump. See the leg down there is totally bent. It's toast, but I'm interested in seeing what's in this. That's That to me has piqued my curiosity. There's another wood piece there. We'll see what's in that. But this right here. So if... Uh, oh, boy. If you know anybody in this business who knows anybody in this business, recently there was some big news here in the Bay Area, Northern California, in North Bay. Ooh. Ooh. And that's that somebody bought a unit that had a $650,000 painting in it. Um, that is big news around here, okay? Because that's, what does that say? That says that people are finding treasures, real legit treasures, treasures that are valuable enough to change your entire life. People are finding that right now, in today's age. This is not 10 years ago, before things, you know, before eBay or nothing. This is now. And this is here where I live, and I'm sure it's there wherever you live too. They are, it's happening, and it's very exciting. So um, I must say, this is this is not your run of the mill painting right here. Uh, I have, again, let me say this again. I have very little knowledge of paintings. It's one another one of the things that I know. I don't really know much about anything. Let me just be honest with you. But I do know that this thing's got some depth in it, depth in it, uh, which. I mean, it, that looks legit. That looks like a real painting. This is not a reproduction. This is not some print that they made in China and a couple guys like painted a few brush strokes over it. This, this looks like the real deal and it's not half bad, which maybe is the most important part. That's nice. I, w I would put that on my wall. My wife would tell me no, but I would put it on my wall uh, if I, you know, if I had this say in my home, I guess. That's not bad either. This to me looks like, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. This looks to me like someone who did it themselves. Someone who's learning how to paint. Now we'll probably look these up and this will be the most expensive one. And this is some famous painter. And we will once again see the limit of my knowledge is not very deep or vast. But, um, I'd say that that's not a bad one either. Not bad. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. Okay. Now this is a print and um mm, that's glass it's a little bit heavier um kind of makes me wish i had gloves on because it's a little sticky on top but it that's a nice looking piece it's cool uh it looks like it's signed and uh it's got some detail in there that's a nice piece if i can clean it up a little bit get the dust off of it that'll sell I don't know for how much, but that'll sell. That's that's a nice looking piece. Not like this one though. This one's this one's good. Okay. Now here's something else. Huh. That's also pretty nice. But again. Glass frame. I'm I'm pretty sure that means it's just a print. You see on the back here. I don't see anything that would suggest that it's you know anything expensive. Okay, and hmm, it's a decent, decent tripod there. Another the glass print. Okay. All right. So these three's not not interested. This very interested. We're gonna have to look this up. I'm gonna have to take this home with me. This is what it looks like. Dump. All this stuff has been sorted or is in the process of being sorted. All this got to go back in the unit. And this is the only space I made right here today. <laughs> I did dent this. This was a wall. So I did take the top part of that back. But this, this is yet to be processed and it goes all the way back. Alright guys, here's a little excitement. So I opened the top here. This was all files, and now they're in there. I went through them super carefully to make sure I don't miss any money. 
there was not there were some birth certificates there were some social security cards so this is the better stuff this is locked okay this right here was taped to the lid um, and I just tried it and it is the key this is a lock box let's see what's inside Ooh, it is full okay Looks like it's a, like a fake casino game. Like these look like little plastic coins that spin. So maybe it's like a slot machine toy or something. Yeah, this is looking interesting. Some personal paperwork. Put that back. Bank. I just found out cash in a bank envelope. Not like that one, though. Okay. That's cool. Nice little knife on. 25 millimeter. That might be worth a few bucks. Hmm, someone like uh, someone likes to gamble. Ooh. <laughs> Old age survival phone. I well, don't mind if I do. Of those. What's this? It's triple A. It's a very old cell phone, maybe. But that's cool. Watchman. <clears throat> what is this? Right? Terribly sticky. So it's kind of like a Walkman, right? The Watchman's a little tiny TV. I'm not gonna really do much with that right this very second. Oh, looks a cash there, but this is what we're looking at right this very second. Come on, burb. Okay. This is gonna fall off. Fall off my lap. Hey. That guy looks familiar. Okay. Uh -huh. hmm, I thought that was electrical tape. That would be very, very odd. Costume. Nothing. See all the stuff they're rubbing off. Maybe silver. I don't think so. There's the matching earring. Hmm. What's this? Well, all of a sudden, you got a lot of people driving around. I don't think that's anything. Tonight's a big night because we're going to be hitting a thousand subscribers tonight. That's my feeling. We're very close. We're like 981. Um, but a little drama at this lo storage locker. I got my hours mixed up. I thought they closed at 630. Turns out they closed at 6 for a second there. I thought I was going to get locked in tonight. Or at least my car was going to be. Ooh, a little bit of a panic. I was going to have to call the, probably call the fire department or the police department. Have them come and open those emergency gates. That's not cool. This place, I guess, gets robbed a lot, or they're having some kind of security problem, so they shorten the gate hours. They open at 9.30, so I thought they were open till 6.30, but they are not. It is 6 o'clock. At about 6.05, I noticed it was getting awfully quiet. So, um, uh, luckily, there was a guy that lives there, and he opened the gate, and he was super cool. So, he's like, good thing I'm here, because you would have to call the cops. Uh, but anyways, oh, uh, yeah, what a day, what a day, what a day got a cash uh, envelope full of cash in my pocket and that's that's pretty cool so anyways that's pretty much it for day two all right I'm getting ready to call it for the night and 
I even sold a couple things on eBay tonight. Oh, I got the best one. That's good. And I wanted to have a little bit of adventure before I call it a day. Um, All right, not too bad. That's a nice little piggy. One, two, three, four, five, twenty-four dollars and some change. That's pretty good. All right, you guys, we got some great stuff coming out this day again, including this painting. I haven't really even looked it up. So if you guys know anything about this, uh, if you would, please comment below. Let's take a little bit closer look so you can get a, a better idea what it is. All right, there is the author. Looks like it says, I don't know, Marcel? Marcel, very nice looking. Let's take a look at the back. Looks like it's printed, it's actually printed on this board right here. It's like a press board, it's not a canvas. And here's what the back looks like. I'm not sure what this uh, refers to there, maybe it's just the model number. Boats at Harbor, Turner it says. I don't know if I like this. Original sample, please return. So, why would it be a sample? Maybe that's not an original. It sure looks like one, but I don't know. If you guys have an explanation of what this stuff means right here, shoot me a comment down below if you would, please. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so a lot of toys came out again. These weren't so much eBay toys, they're mostly flea market stuff. Uh, but I did bring them to a collector market and got some decent money. Again, G.I. Joe toys, Transformers, the kind of stuff people are after. Uh, Three to five dollars, some of the Transformers, we got eight dollars a piece. The condition was an issue on them, as with most of the items in here. But uh, good money, and of course, let's not forget about the real money. Over four hundred dollars in cash, can you believe that? That is so uh, awesome. That. That would have been the most money I'd ever found in a locker if I didn't find other money in this locker and the sister locker. It's just incredible. These lockers are just paying and paying and paying. And you know what? I don't even know what's in the second one. We've barely even tapped into that one. Tomorrow I'm going to go with my friend Tyler and we're going to search for some more treasures. But until then, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching again. Make sure that you hit that like button. Show us what you think, all right? And subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, make sure you hit that bell icon, all right? The bell's gonna notify you when the next edition as well as any future video comes out, all right? Thanks, you guys. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Can you imagine if you lived right there? Or right there? Or right there? And that was your view every morning? Looking out, sunset, sunrise. Boats coming in, boats going out. Mmm, that'd be nice. I wonder if they have storage facilities there.